Oh, we're back. Tucker is still dissing Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo. What are you doing? People have bad pitches. Oh man, he's ripping the Japanese now. What does it mean strategic time zone for global broadcasting? That's such a fucking lie. That's a ridiculous lie. Is that a lie? Hold on. I, I don't know. Shit goes off at like 3 a.m. Uh, time zone map. God, this is too complicated. I just want to... My time that. zone is the ideal time zone for global broadcasting. Let's see here. I think it unironically is the one, actually. I'm not going to lie. We're going to call that plus nine. So what, if you go... If it's nine o'clock... Let's say five o'clock in Japan. Would Pretty be... sure Eastern time is minus five, normally. Nine, so five o'clock in Japan would be 8 a.m. in the UK, which would be like 1 o'clock in the morning and 1 o'clock to like 3 o'clock in the morning in the US. Yeah, I think it's 3, isn't it? Because I think you guys are 5 hours ahead. It depends on, on the East Coast, sure, but on the West Coast, it's... Ah, you know. oh, well, we don't care about the West Coast. So I'd Nobody say noon there. in the in Japan would be... Four o'clock in the no three o'clock in the morning for the UK, which then would be like ten o'clock at night for the west, the east coast, and when does the time. uh yeah that sounds right when that does sounds when does when does the dome show start uh around mid after around early afternoon I think I think around one o'clock in Japan okay yeah that <clears throat> that lines up with like yeah my knowledge and stuff like that having. Having done that, not my knowledge, my experience. You did the dome show? Yes, I ran the dome <laughs> show, actually. <laughs> Holy <clears throat> shit. Buddy, on the side, I LARP as a small Asian man uh, named Gato. Um, That's a really impressive and successful LARP. <laughs> yeah, thank you. They really, I, I really don't know, man. They just, <laughs> I they ask me things I legit can't understand. I just point to a guy and I said, Oh, it actually makes so much sense now. The long-term planning. It's all you. Of course. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Should we book a Halloween special Raw? Let's do it. What is this shit? What the hell is that? Oh. Okay, cool. Good job, Sheldon. We are in. Da, 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 da. What is what is that noise I make when I try to do the location? It's like fanfare. It is. It's fanfare trumpets, but I'm like, what is it from? Why is that like the noise I think of? From yeah. Shrek? True. True. Real shit. Yeah? Okay. Everything is everything is from Shrek. Genuinely um, Shrek 2, cinematic masterpiece. What is it with DreamWorks and the second of the, of all of their franchises being like the best one? Toy Story 2 is like even the good one, isn't it? Or wait, is that a different well, fucking that's not DreamWorks, company but... entirely? Yeah, I don't fucking uh, know, man. They're all Pixar. They're all animated fucking movies to me. I never knew the difference. <laughs> even as a kid, I was like, this is the same shit, dude. Seriously? I don't know. Really? You don't? Yeah, like, I never knew uh, the like, difference. E even without like getting into the weeds, there is a very big tonal difference between Pixar movies and DreamWorks movies, for sure. Pixar would never do stuff like Shrek or... Um, uh, Oh, what was the car wash movie called? Shark? No. Shark Tale. Oh, it. Shark Tale. Yeah, Shark yeah. Tale's pretty good. Dude. People hate Shark Tale, but I like it, even though I know it's bad. I was I was about to say, Shark Tale feels like the type of thing that we would both enjoy. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, don't yeah. know why. I, I like, like Shark Tale. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, I, I find it, like, insanely absurd. I watched that movie a ton as a kid. Um, Here's my controversial take. Over the internet, I prefer DreamWorks to Pixar, mostly on the back of of Kung Fu Panda being a genuine modern classic, and ironically, yeah, the first Kung Fu Panda movie is dope. The and second the one's even ones, better. I saw the second one. The second one's the one where the peacock is a really menacing villain. They made a peacock into a menacing villain. Oh no, I remember this about Kung Fu Panda. I've never seen two. I have seen three for three's some reason. Not great. Three's not great. Yeah, I'll admit three, that. Three's the one where he's like, I gotta Going find my home. dad. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah That's what I remember. Okay. It's fine, but it's not great. It's like, it's it's definitely not as good as the other two. I remember seeing a trailer for 
I remember seeing its trailers for two, and obviously I was younger before three came out, and I was like, this is uninteresting to me. I saw trailers for three, and I was like, we're back to the real story. Here we fucking go, boys. He's gonna find his dad, I guess, which I guess I thought was like a plot point. I don't know. I don't know why I was like, there we go. Now we're getting back to it. Hell yeah. Three's not that bad, to be fair. It, it isn't, in my opinion. But it's it's also, it's just not as good as the other two. I, get, I don't know. I, I want to say I've seen two. I just don't remember it, but... Two I is fantastic. Two is... They okay, then maybe not, then. Subvert the... So I, I can see why some people might not like it, but they do. They, it's the whole prophecy thing again, where they they kind of explore the the historic... Like, they like store the, 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 the storyline idea of a prophecy in a different, slightly different way than the first one. Um, and they also have just this amazing villain who, who I, I will always say it's one of the cinema's greatest triumphs is the fact that they turned a peacock into an absolutely terrifying villain. And he's great. I love him. He's a fantastic heel. Uh, shit. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, whatever this other Kung Fu Panda movie was that I saw, I just remember it being edited like shit. Yes. I oh, yeah. I remember the first one being yeah. paced super well, and then whatever one I've seen, they're just like, they start off at, like, the main place, and then it's like, ten minutes later, boom, hard cut. We're, like, somewhere completely fucking yeah. different. They're here now. Whoa. And I'm like, whoa. That. Like, what the fuck? I Like, I, even as, like, a little kid, I remember being like, whoa, what the, what the fuck, everybody, chill out for a second. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. There you go. We spun that off into a whole conversation. Mr. Kennedy. Hell yeah. He's gonna start Raw again. He's gonna come out, and he's gonna say two things. Randy Orton, I'm in your head. I'm back, watch yours. Oh. Number two. Jonathan Coachman has given me, has made me once again the number one contender to the WWE Championship. And he's told me, Randy, that I can have my title match whenever and wherever that I want. And that just gave me an idea. Because Orton, these last couple of weeks, you've been running around like you own the place. But I've been telling you week after week after week that I... I'm the face of Monday Night Raw. So how about for our rematch for the WWE Championship, where I become world champion for the first time and prove to the world what I've been saying for months. How about we do that somewhere I'm very familiar with? Somewhere that already knows how good I am. How about next Saturday night with the lights on bright in my hometown of Green Bay, Wisconsin, we go one on one for the WWE Championship. Hell yeah. And then Orton can come down. Oh, he's here. Oh, God. And Kennedy's going to be like, ah, 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 ah. you hear what the boss man said last week? If you touch me. Before next Saturday, you are you stripped of your WWE Championship, which will make me the WWE Champion by default. So, Ron Orton, you want to hit, hit me so bad? You want to hit me with that RKO again? You want to lay me flat out looking up at the lights? I'm going to be the winner. Just like I was last time we fought. Just like I'll be on Saturday night, because there's something you haven't quite figured out yet, Randy. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you work, no matter how good you are, when we face each other, I always win. Norton will look pissed. I like that. Change the last line to, you know, no matter how hard you work, no matter what you do. <clears throat> Coming out of this, the WWE Champion will be... Mr. Yep, he does the thing. And he'll get right up into Orton's face and deliver the second one. There you go. I guess we can, yeah, we, or, we, we can give Orton, Orton his credit. I guess. And Orton can't kill this guy. Damn. <laughs> Unfortunate. Kennedy versus Orton. That's me. Cool. Is this... The Sean Randy story, but in reverse. No, I don't know which Sean Randy story. It's not the 07 one, is it? 
I don't remember the Sean Randy story being much like that. I know some things with Orton always have like no touching. No yeah, touching. Yeah, yeah. No touching. No touching. No touching. <laughs> no touching. No touching is a is a historic angle, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know if yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goofy as shit. <laughs> yeah, um kind of goofy, I'll admit. But it's it's no, cool. It's, no it's very it's very sportsy for me. It's like, no, we gonna save it for the big fight on Saturday. Um yeah. Yeah, yeah, no no. I mean I like it. It's always just goofy how it like manifests itself as like the heel getting away with more shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we come back to the commercial. Oh. I was just saying which is fine, you know. But we come back from commercial. And yep. Jonathan Coachman's gonna catch up with Randy Orton backstage and he's gonna say, Look, I saw that. I'm not blind. I'm not an idiot. Okay? So listen, I'm gonna throw you a bone. I got an idea for tonight. You can't attack Mr. Kennedy. You can't put your hands on that man. I refuse to allow that. You've already got a title match. You'll have your chance next Saturday in Green Bay. However, what I will let you do is pick Mr. Kennedy's opponent tonight. And he will pick yours. Now, I know we did this a couple weeks ago before your first match. Yeah, coach, you're running out of ideas. Goddamn. We're going to add a little bit of extra spice on this one. Okay? If you win your match, you will get to add a stipulation to your title match next weekend. And if Kennedy wins his, he'll get to do the same. Nice. All right, coach. Mr. Kennedy is going to face the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga. Big. Who are the champs, by the way? Do you want to just flick through them quickly? Yeah, sure. Uh, Yep, Dave's. Uh, New breed. New breed, guys. Horton. Uh, Strong. Rubel H. Uh, Lundrick. Bashman. Doug Basham. Bashman. The GOAT. Uh, And Trish Stratus. Uh, Something I was... Uh, I mean, I clearly with what I sent you about Doug the other day, I, I was slipping through the, the other days in ten hours ago. Th- Yeah, yeah, exactly. As in, literally right before I went to sleep, I was about to go to sleep, and you responded. And I was like, "Oh shit! All right, yeah, all right." That's because um, I, I was waking up. <laughs> yeah, I assumed so. I was. That's why I was like, "Oh, I should be in bed." Fuck. Um, my stamina is still going down. Uh, well, I mean, drugs have a long term impact. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I just I just noticed that, and I was like, hmm. He's probably still washed, and that's fine. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, yeah, so uh, Kennedy Umaga at some yep. point here. Uh, also put Kennedy off screen in that angle. Oh, yeah, good call, good call. I think we should wrestle. Maybe yep. women. Yep. Oh, yeah, we should just do Beth and Mickey versus Revolution. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good shit. Yeah. We teased that. We kind of half set that up. Is she the other... Why is she here? You signed her, probably for Dev, but forgot to send her. No. No, that's that can't be true. She's been here since uh, 2006. You re-signed her. And forgot to send her to Dev. Maybe I did. Maybe I did fuck that up. You're right. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, I haven't noticed for the last two weeks. And you re-signed her three. Yeah, like, yeah. Two, literally. I'm like, how did you get here? Did you show up at the wrong show? Like, I don't, mm. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't Ooh. understand. Uh, uh, okay, oh you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You want me to pick? Uh, oh, okay, sorry. Pick. Yeah. No, no, you pick. You pick. It's fine. Yeah, that looks good to me. Do all the unimportant people and bomb the angle. <laughs> is somebody in this? Uh, so is somebody in this angle very warm? Surely Beth's very warm by now. There she yeah, is. Yes, she is. Cool. Damn, her gimmick sucks. That's a, that's a bummer. Oh well. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Sure. 
I think the faces should win this one. Yeah, I, I was like, I guess Beth should win. She, like, overpowers the small women. Yeah. The regular-sized women, I think. Serena's small, but yeah. Is she? Is she small for I a woman, so. though? Oh, true. Yeah. I don't know. Hold on. Uh, it sounded unintentionally and unreasonably misogynistic. She's 5'4". That's... That's, pretty That's not tiny. that small for a woman. Hold on. American average height woman. Five, five four six, isn't it? Five four. Oh, it's five four. Wow, I thought yeah. it was five six. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. So there you go. She is an average height woman, which I guess in the land of the giants is quite tall. Yeah, okay. like how tall is Beth? Actually, I, I just want to see this just to compare. I'm gonna guess Beth is eight, five eight. My guess. Five seven. Ooh, that was close. Uh, what about Michelle McCool? Because we were talking about this. I think she's tall for a while. Yeah. Now I'm like, oh shit! I gotta figure all of these out. Mickey's also five four. Michelle McCool's five ten. I knew she was tall for a woman. Five ten. Michelle McCool's five ten. Holy. Michelle fuck. McCool's five ten. Yeah, she is tall. To be fair, um. Talia Madison is 5'6". She is. She's, she's quite tall. She's also kind of That's why she was beast. the dick master. She could hold her own. True. True. Um, she, was, she could hold her own. There you go. <laughs> I did not mean it like that. Um, let's have an angle afterwards where the heels try to beat up the baby faces and the baby faces overcome. Hell yeah. Uh, the heels also including the other two heels. Oh, sure, yep. That works for me. Cool. <laughs> but I'm about to type babyface women. <laughs> um, Phoenix and James. Fight off revolution. Two. Hold on here, I'm just gonna help everybody out. Let's sell mania tickets. It's so funny how much I fucking like do the storyline thing now. Like even in uh yeah, 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 yeah. like Burning Hammer, just because I'm like, this is literally easy, like free fucking momentum every angle that you do. Yeah, well I still you know, I, I still don't have conclusive proof that it helps, but I, I feel like um, some uh, some circumstantial evidence is that it does. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought it definitely would have to do with, like, they have to be in the storyline, and then their storyline gets so much heat, and that oh, storylines are their momentum. useless. Well, yeah, but it's... Momentum. Which is ridiculous, though, because this is literally just says storyline. Yeah, 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 that's fair. But I so I, all I was saying was I expected it to be related to sports and stuff. Do you remember how momentum you... used to work with storylines? Because I do. Yeah, yeah, it used to be like not a real thing, right? It was just like well, maybe an before extra that note. even there was a point. I don't remember if it was twenty ten or twenty thirteen, but it used to be a point where. At the end of the storyline, like when you legit ended the storyline. Oh yeah! On how much then success you they get, the... gained, they get a massive. Yeah. So all you would do all year is like giga farm your storyline up to major success, and then end it, and then do it again, or like pop it I right before a main this. event or something. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, it's like yeah. a little fucking booster pack that you could pop literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Motivational anyway. speech, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> um, when we get back, William Regal's in the ring. And he's going to give an impassioned speech that only William Regal could really give, so I'm not going to verbatim here, about how he has been in this business for a very long fucking time, Our truth But unfortunately, he... he's British. What? He's been in this sport for a very long time, but unfortunately, he's British, so he has to retire. Shit, fair. He's um... contracted Brit. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna take a you hell of a lot more you heard me. than your stupid fear tactics, Ron. Yes, right. I said Ron to take me out of oh this my business. God. 
He's <laughs> shooting, too. <laughs> yeah, take him off the script, because I'm just going to let him do this speech. And um, basically, he's like, hey, sunshine, you're not going to kick me out of this business. This is my sport. This is my ring. I will die in this ring. You are not going to get rid of me that easily. And then our truth and Matt Morgan will come down to the ring and surround it menacingly. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a look on Regal's face, like, ah, well, I call, I made my bed. I'm going out fighting. And then the New Breeds music hits. What the hell? What do you think the New Breeds music is? Don't waste my time. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm just like, I was like, I have no clue what that would even be. I guess it's, yeah. I, I actually, so in my head... Elijah obviously has his own theme, and I think that's pretty based. But Kenny Dykstra's theme isn't awful for, like, spunky young kid. I can't even think I know the solo like, Kenny theme. Na, 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 or something like that. I remember thinking of someone else's, but... Oh! Yeah, it's like a production theme, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, go on, listen to it. I'm going to say, I'm like, they can't hear me anyways, so... Uh, Kenny Dykstra theme. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like a production theme, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Isn't it? It I mean, sounds like maybe it's, it's, it was it's, it's, it's a Jim Johnson theme, though, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. feels like it was built on, like, a Jim Johnson classic production theme, but has, like, had some changes done to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, some guitars added to it. Yeah, I like this. This isn't that bad. Yeah. I could boo to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, or on this occasion, cheer! Oh, uh, hooray! Because <laughs> it's the new breed saving William Regal as they fight off our truth and Matt Morgan. Maybe we do this Hell as two yeah. angles. And since you've got all the guys in here, why you take, why you why you do this as the second angle? So Regal on fighting as well, and then this is the fighting. Yeah, yep. And then this can go three. Yep. And then the first angle is is Regal. Six minute promo on truth. I love it. Fuck you, wrong. Hell yeah. So, yeah, I'm not gonna say who, just, just, uh, but there's this travel YouTuber that I occasionally watch thanks to the algorithm. Yeah. And I hadn't watched him in a few months, and I recently tuned into a video, and he's lost a fucking finger. <laughs> oh. He's always doing, like, slightly stupid shit, and it's like, oh, it's completely fine. And then apparently he, like, held a firework, and it exploded in his hand. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I watch a dude, I, I guess, like, I yeah, I watch, like, I watch a dude who, like, just does that with, like, his family, I guess. I guess it's oh, more so just, like, wholesome. his kids. But the kids are like young, like they're young kids. It's like kind of fucking crazy. It's like, damn, you fuck up. Those kids are gonna die. <laughs> um, and he doesn't. He's very good at what he does. <clears throat> and then I <clears throat> watch like another guy who like, I don't know, bought like a fucking property in Virginia, and is just like, I'm building a fucking house. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. I'm going in the middle of fucking nowhere, building a house. A couple like, of years damn. ago, there was this like viral guy it's on real social shit. media who was building. Like, he had, like, a basement, and he flooded his basement intentionally and built an eel pool. I and, remember like, this. Yeah, he was, like, the most wholesome guy in the world. He's like, hey, guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at the eel pool. <laughs> so, they, so shut, like, they shut him down, didn't oh, they? Did I they? remember this vaguely. Yeah, 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 I, think, right. I think the cops came and, like, were like, you can't flood your basement. And it's like, <laughs> damn, what happened to America, man? We used to be able to do what we wanted. You're here to shut down the eel pool? <laughs> She like how he's like how he's Johnny Hanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't take my eels, please! <laughs> my no, eels, no, I love them. <laughs> this is all I have. Let's do the SmackDown slab of the week. People will only talk to me about the eel pool. <laughs> I solved a murder once. <laughs> Real shit. Real shit. I'm also connected to like. Numerous atrocities, no Loki. <laughs> we don't go there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I'll go there anytime with that motherfucker. Um, Fair. Uh, Roderick Strong. Sorry. He's millennium yeah. over. 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Broad rebound. No, no. Is the millennium over? Shit. Good lord. Is there anything pre made for this show? I nope. think there is, isn't there? Oh, no, okay. Cool. No. Cool, cool, cool. I thought about that last night. I was like, maybe there was something that was supposed to be pre-booked, and I just didn't. But no, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Cool, that's fine. Right, could be a good time for the Mister Kennedy. No, the ooh, what is main eventing actually? What, who's Orton's opponent? Ooh, tri Triple H would be a pretty based one. That would be wildly based. I don't know if we want to do that though. Uh, I mean, we're not doing it. For real, any time soon. That's true. Now to Mania, there's no no plans on doing it. That's I, true. Also, after Mania, if you'll remember, there's no plans on doing it because of no, no, else no. That's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, we might as well do it. Yeah, all right. I'm game. All right, cool. And I think it's fun. I'm to game. Kennedy, ah. It's good, like Kennedy would be like. Ha ha, your old mentor, bitch. Also, it makes sense because Orton's losing. So, a great guy to lose to. <sighs> we should put the icy belt on the line. No, no, no. No, no that's fine. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Um, let's do the Kennedy one now, then. Let's do Kennedy Umaga. Yep. Oh, hold on. Let me just reduce this list by, like, half. <sighs> There you go. Now, you know me and an easy story. We could continue the Henry feud. Because uh, Kennedy's winning this, and it probably makes sense for it to be through some, some form of shenanigan. And the most obvious one is, well... Umaga and Henry again. I like that. We were going to do the I angle know. where they just... And I did like that. Yeah. Um, probably makes sense, though. Unless... Unless it's the fucking big show. <laughs> I, okay, I'm not opposed to starting a new feud here. But Big Show I, just roams around and assaults <laughs> other giants. He's just like, nope, only me. <laughs> I think it makes sense. I, I think we, I can be convinced to start a new feud here. I don't know about the Big Show. Did Umaga kill anyone before he left last time? Did he, like, murder any men? Did any men wish death upon him? Let me see, let me see, right? Because when was Umaga's last match? It was that New Year's Rev match? Yeah, so to go to, to 2006. Where are you going? Here. Go to his matches first. Oh, good call. Yeah. <coughs> I was thinking like an angle or something. That's reasonable, but we should at least start with who he was fighting. Stevie Richards. Uh, no, a lot of these guys have... A lot of these guys have washed out. Um, Chris Masters is right there. That would be kind of neat. Doesn't it get us away from the IC title? It does. Match, though? I'm not against that. It's not hard to get back to the IC belt whenever we want. Triple H is literally hosting open challenges at the moment. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, yeah. Chris Masters can be dared into doing something stupid by the Miz, so he can like film. What if? Oh, what if Masters attacks Umaga here while Miz is literally filming it on a hand cam? Yeah, yeah, I, I get, I get the vibe here. Yeah. yeah, like recording your friends kicking a bee's nest. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got that. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like, All right. I like how Eminem turned into like the American <laughs> Pie stable, like. <laughs> The jackass table is more what I was yeah, talking about. Really, like, yeah, it's like a little bit of both. Yeah, very much like early, mid-2000s, like, 
it's because of the America. It's it's like you, I, I pushed a little bit to do just Miz, and you were like, "Nah, it's too early for Miz." So I was like, "Fine, reality star, let's go, let's just do yeah. it." Yeah, I loved it. It's been great. Uh, okay, well, we need to actually finish booking that match now. <laughs> um, True. Six. Yep. Kennedy wins via distraction from Chris Masters. Love it. Oh, you should do distraction finish. Oh, yeah, good call. Uh, there it is. <clears throat> Masters. And then after the match, like, Eminem should be, like, laughing at Umaga. And then Umaga will, like, beat them up. I guess Miz will, like, die a little, and then the other two will run away. Like it. I guess Ent on the two boys, because they're, like, laughing and shit. Yep. And then Umaga fighting. Perfect. Three minutes. Umanga. Um, Lashley beat Big Show. He did. So we should probably have an interviewer ask him what's next for Bobby Lashley. Sure. Yeah, I like that. What is next for Bobby Lashley, Tucker? I don't know. Huh. Stop asking. No. Um, Maybe I need to fight for the Intercontinental Championship. Who's this other interviewer I'm looking for? I guess they're all up here, aren't they? Yeah, Alicia they are. Fox, all, they all are. Yeah. yeah, they're Ooh. all up there. Never mind. Um, maybe that's why we brought up Rosa Mendez. No, I don't no, no, you're right. Cause she that. hasn't she hasn't been here the whole time. She just showed up for some reason. Yeah. Again, I don't understand it. Uh, yeah, Bobby Lashley can talk. Uh, can what what is title? he? Doing is that next? what's next for Bobby Lashley? Yeah, I think so. It's probably getting his belt back, right? Okay, yeah. He would rather get a new belt, but uh, <laughs> in lieu of that, I guess he can get a, a belt back. Hell yeah. We can go four on that one. Yep. Uh, let's have a uh, tag team match. Yeah, we should probably see DMLS stuff too at some point. I was actually thinking that uh, Manu and Cody Rhodes could wrestle in this tag team match. Oh hell yeah. I have no clue why he's cooled, by the way. He's worked one match for us and he won it, and they're like, ah, oh, he's not that hot anymore. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Maybe because he was used too much. Maybe. I don't know why that would cool your momentum, though. That would probably heat it up. Because yeah, people are like, go like, away. Also, why are the cool majors momentum? here? I don't know. <laughs> they don't have a brand, I guess. I don't know. I didn't notice them last week, either. No, neither did I. Where, where are these guys coming from? Huh. Go back to your normal show. I guess the Hardys works, and they can, the Hardys can just win. Sure. I'm not going to help Manu's cool momentum. But First. Hey. Seven? Yep. Seems a bit long, actually. Why don't you go five? Yeah, it works. The main's going to go, like, 60 or something, so... Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let me, really quick... Uh, is Manu officially a guy here? Yeah, yeah. We we had we had said that maybe he wasn't, but but he is yeah. leader apparently, according to me. Uh, let me just very quickly. Oh, hey, let's get a graphic that next week, uh, Matt Morgan and r Truth are gonna fight for the world tag team titles. Hell yeah. That'll probably just be the end of this R Truth angle, and then R Truth can like go away for a bit. Yep. (coughs) 
Yeah, I think so. I don't know. He's a very valuable asset, but I just I think he's somebody who'll just like hang around if we don't send him away. Yeah, I, I think I think the hard thing with Truth is like, what do we have him do now? Like, yeah, unless he goes away for a while and then comes back in like a little bit of a different situation. He could go after Lashley now that Lashley's free and do one more run. One more that would angle. be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. I like that as a reason why Lashley gets not directly at Triple H and we let Umaga go at him. Yeah, I also just kind of like just doing the Lashley match, though, to be fair. But I guess we can save that for down the line. It's not like we're in a rush. Um, let's have the let's have um, New Breed all rated on Overness off screen as the comms react to what happened earlier. Yeah, what the hell does any of that shit mean, man? Do we like them now? I don't know. Yeah, it's a strange one. <clears throat> I feel like I literally... I said deja vu to when I wrote this angle, like, exactly like this for Edge. Do we like Edge now? I remember that. Fuck. A minute. Yeah. Yep. And then Kennedy backstage is going to be like, Randy, I get to pick your opponent tonight. And I'm going to pick the perfect opponent, not just to beat you down physically, but to beat you down emotionally, mentally. A man who's always been in the back of your mind, who lives in your head rent-free. The man who took the World Heavyweight Championship from you back in 2005. Triple H. Hell yeah. Six? Yep. Uh, could wrestle again. Probably ill-advised to do so. Could be quick. Could be Mark Henry killing a man. I don't really need that on the show, but if you want it, sure. What, would, what, what match would you suggest in its place? Maybe crime time should keep winning. All right, but it's got to be singles. So sure. Why don't we have Shad Gaspard kill Davari? I love it. I mean, it works. Yeah, I'm like, one. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> further down here. You're very keen on this crime time mini push, aren't you? I am. All right. Face God Davari never complains. No, I mean, he, he's in no position to. No. No, he knows. Uh, let's hype up that this Friday we're going to do a special Halloween edition of Friday Night Smackdown. Yeah, Kevin Nash has announced it uh, Yeah, because, uh, uh, I don't know, actually, my suit's actually just not ready this week, so. <laughs> it's true. I'm coming in costume. Yeah. <laughs> my costume is Kevin Nash. Yeah. <laughs> I've... <laughs> I'm extremely popular 90s wrestler, Kevin Nash. How are you? <laughs> uh, Halloween true. party Hello. on SmackDown. You may have seen me in the WCW. <laughs> My name is Kevin Nash. Yeah. Who are you supposed to be dressed up as, Kevin? I'm a uh, popular 90s professional wrestler, Kevin Nash. Actually, it would be kind of funny if he comes to Scott Hall. <laughs> he dresses up as Scott Hall. <laughs> That's fucked up in both universes, because even in this one by now, Scott Hall's dead. So. Oh, is he? I yeah, Scott died I many years ago. Now. Many years ago. It's a tribute, then. Kind of amazing, yeah. <laughs> it's a tribute to the better of the two. Real shit. Real shit? Yeah. Real um, shit. Undisputed. Uh... What, what, let's, yeah, let's check the analysis. We still have Mark Henry because you vetoed him killing a guy. And Sheldon Benjamin. Maybe Charlie. Maybe, well, yeah, but, you know, Charlie is in spirit with the new breed tag. And, and the fact, big show. 
that Jarley could in fact just be in the new breed tag, like as a ringside guy. But it's fine. Yeah, I like I that. Think, I like him uh, at ringside for this. You can, we can do it if you want. But here's my alternate pitch, where he, him, and Shelton just have a conversation here, where they're like, you know, what's going on with the young boys? What's going on with William Regal? What's going on with your stable, Charlie? Yeah, I love it. Charlie just like levels with Charlie, and it's just like Charlie. These children suck at pro wrestling. Can no, I be honest with no. you? No, <laughs> you can't. Let's not do that. They lose like every fucking week, Charlie. <laughs> Look, we used to lose all the time, Shelton. They're young. Remember? Kurt always tried to get us to cheat. No, I don't remember. Did we ever lose that much? I feel like we always won all the time. Literally. I'm sure we lost loads. We were young once. Comparatively, we weren't fucking 21. Yeah, see, so they, 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 you need to give them a break, okay? They're, they're still cutting their chops. Not to mention all, you know, they're in a difficult environment. And let's not forget, we beat the new breed last Saturday. Sure. Sheldon Benjamin's just like, yeah, all those kids suck. <laughs> Except for Manu. <laughs> Manu's my guy. Okay, well, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe Manu's the guy, right? But we need to treat them all equally. That's how it works, right? It's respect for wrestling. DMLS. I don't, I don't know how it was going to work in the Regal stuff. I don't even know how. The but... children could just be like, and they're not getting the education that they need because Regal's over there fucking with his own shit. And now what? Regal's teaming with the new breed, our enemies? Real shit. What the hell's that about? Regal's going to do what Regal's going to do, okay? Regal, like, I called Regal in for a favor to help train, and he did that. He's not like our chaperone or anything. I'm the leader of this faction. I'm the sensei you? of this dojo. Are you? Yeah. What are you are trying to you? say, Shelton? I was trying to say it's been a while since you've won anything, Charlie. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while since I felt like you were any kind look, of leader. Look, look, Charlie, I don't want to go too harsh on Shelton here. From Shelton, but I think Shelton will say, look, Charlie, you know I have a ton of respect for you. And I know that you used to be a kick-ass tag team wrestler. Yeah, but... I, I think it's only... I think it's only that... Um, uh, provo provocational, is that a word? Provocative, I guess provocative, is what yeah. I'm looking for. It's only it's only so provocative because Shelton cares. Okay. Yeah, would you make that explicit? Because wrestling fans are dumb. That's true. Yes. Yeah. And okay, then fair, you can go on play. to say, like, right now, you just to these kids, you just seem like the guy who used to be a good tag team wrestler, and not to say nothing, but. When you were the best tag team wrestler you've ever been? Who was your partner again? Uh, Dean Belenko. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, oh, come my on. bad. Go on, Charlie. Go, go on. Nice. Like that. That's okay. good. That's good shit. Six minutes of them talking. Yeah, there was more than six minutes of us talking, so it works. Yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. Uh, let's sell Mania tickets again. Yep. Please, please buy these tickets. We say please, it's Jesus. probably already sight and sold out because it's going to be like an 18k arena. Uh, and then we'll do the main event. Yep. It's Randy Orton. Ripple Somewhere. H. The you, brands you, are off again. You're How offering did that right for him. I know. I just I needed to do that for some reason. It's champion versus champion. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Can you drag it down for me and see how much time I got left? Yeah. 23. I don't think we need that much. I think we go 19 on this. Yep. Looking to see what they've done in the past. 94. This is all pretty... Oh, yeah, this is the ever. first time they fought since that Hell in a Cell, eh? Yeah. Uh, no, they, well, they fought at Judgment Day. Oh, is this reverse order? No, it, yeah, it is reverse order, so yeah. Yeah, since then. Yeah. Yeah, right. Cool. Two and a half cool. years. Um, 
uh, what's what's crazy, and you'll hate this, is my instinct was, oh, Triple H can just win clean. Um, but I think we just have Kennedy come out and fuck Randy around. He's like, you can't touch me, you can't touch me, and until Triple H beats him. Love it. So, yeah, distraction finish. Trish at ringside. Actually, nah, leave her out. Might continue the story anyway, but if it doesn't, that's better for us. And we can be. I like, think she's his manager, right? So yeah, so it, it will. probably will, but I don't think we've confirmed that. Right on. But either way, it doesn't matter. If she's not out there, we have reasonable justification, and it's like, you know, Triple H doesn't want to get Trish involved in this rivalry that reminds him of the mid 2000s because he's in a better place now, the late 90s. That's way better than the mid 2000s. Hell yeah. That's wrong. Perfect. Let's run it. So Orton doesn't get to add a step to a match, but Kennedy does, and we'll find out what that step is next week. Hell yeah. Brian Shrill. <clears throat> God, it's a low crowd here in Kansas. <clears throat> and we can book it in. Yep. Unless the step changes the, step the match. Yet, we but... don't, but it'll be okay. I don't think the step is going to change the match type. No, I think it'll be fine, yeah. I know what the step is, and I can tell you it won't change the match type. Good to know, good to know, <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you. Kennedy Orton rematch in Green Bay. Holy shit. Hell yeah. The stars are aligning. Uh, we got the pick your opponent's poison for a step. Stip. It's, it's fuck your opponent overnight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fuck the other guy night, or whatever the fuck I said. It. Yeah, fuck the other guy night, that's it. Fuck the other guy night, hell, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, because it was fuck the other guy overnight. I just said fuck <laughs> the other guy night. Um, fuck anyways, you guys, yeah. fuck you guys, fuck you yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Randy Orton chooses guys. Umaga to face Mr. Kennedy. Aw, oh, shit. Women's wrestling, a curse. This does well. Mickey's the fucking lady. Kind of. We don't really know who she is. True. Nobody knows. They're like, who are these people? <laughs> That's the Glamazon. I don't know who that is, but yeah! Well, she's very of warm. <laughs> if I say unimportant but warm, it's like, I don't know who that is, but yeah! <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I feel it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, yep. Women. And then we brawl. We fight. <laughs> yeah! Uh, WrestleMania ad. Randy Orton will be there. We Regal yep. shoots hard on our truth. And then <laughs> they come out to try to kill him, but the new breed saves him. Question mark. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the shit. fuck is going on? Holy shit. The fuck is going on? Uh, SmackDown Slam of the Week, we see Millennium basically falling out within itself. Well, kind of, right? Just Roddy and Frankie. That's true. Yeah, yeah. This, this is well. based. There was a storyline on this. No. No. That's ridiculously based, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kennedy beats Umaga with the Green Bay... Green Bay? What? Green Bay also, plunge. Isn't that like a... Some, like a Samoan drop... Soup, like from the top like it's some sort of what do you call it you know when you go him in a fire car you're on the top rope and you'd like dive with them on your yes top it is the forward uh what the fuck is it called it's like a forward roll something isn't it i, I feel like I he doesn't do that to umaga instead he does his no yeah move. it's yeah it's probably a little tough um c2 do, i don't think he does the uh the one move that he does fuck is it called canton bomb no, because I'm thinking about, I think it was his TNA finish. And I or think I just thought he did it the whole time. Called? Yeah, whatever the fuck that move, the like. I think he does it in, like, it's a, it's, a, it's like a face buster, right? Like a, what do you call yeah, it? Yeah, like a, I want to say it's almost like the, um, like the. It's the like a front chain. zigzag, right? Kinda. Like, it's kind of like a complete shot in that way, right? Like, that's what they call that. That's a jumping complete shot or whatever, whatever the <laughs> fuck that means. That's literally what that move is called, where you uh -huh. jump up and just pull a guy down to the ground. It's fucking yeah. ridiculous. That's the name. 
But no, it's like something more set up, isn't it? He like wraps his leg around your leg and then gently like bends you back for a second and then drops you on your face. It's fucking weird. Ah, uh, the sister Abigail. Yes, but without like so the much kiss? of it. Yeah, it's like it's like a slight low bend. He just like goes like oh, and then <laughs> throws you four backwards. Uh, I don't understand. Jeff Jarrett move the stroke. Hmm. Hmm. Jeff right. Jarrett's stroke though is the yeah no Jeff Jarrett's stroke is closer to like the Miz's move though. Hmm. Where, where right. Kennedy's is his. You're you're the other way. You're not the same way as your opponent. Uh, anyways, moves. This was based. <laughs> this is based. <clears throat> they laugh at Umaga, and Umaga throws Mizanin off the stage. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. The camera smashes <laughs> on the ground. All of the work <laughs> in vain. Yep. Lashley yep. wants his belt back. Why is our truth here? <laughs> He's done. Why? Why is our truth here? Why is he here? What is Why is what is you your truth? I don't know. Why are you here, pal? We might have been talking about our truth, going after Lashley or something. I don't really and know. I just like the room in there. I was like, "Fuck it!" Our truth's lurking in the background, <laughs> listening. He remembers what you've done to his former boss. Foreshadowing. <laughs> this is really well. Fuck. Yeah, the Hardys are great. Says Jeffrey, Jesus. Um, damn. Yeah, the Hardy Boys beat Manu and Cody Rhodes. The Hardys keep winning. We've got World Tag Team Titles on the line next week. This is bullshit, King. Wait, King's on comms, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, this is bullshit, King, because both the Hardys and Crime Time deserve a title shot way more than these two jokers. Oh yeah, it's literally not the Hardys. My bad. It was like, oh yeah, it is the Hardys. Thank you. And then I was like, wait, no, it's Luke. It's, it's Matt Morgan and Ron Truth. That's why I wouldn't find it. Um, there we go. The Goon Squad. Hell yeah, they're back. <laughs> they never left. Team, team Goon. Team Goon. Team, team Mook, as I like to say. I love, I love that in the time that we have called them like the goon and stuff like that. The uh, goon has taken on a, a second life has it? In, the, in the meme community. Oh shit. Well, are you, are you not aware I, my friend? I'm not aware. I'm 27 oh. years old. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, t I'm 22. So I'm a little more aware yeah. of those things. Yeah. Somebody in the chat will know. Somebody watching this VOD will know. And is like, damn putty doesn't yeah, know. We That's never wild. talk about the VODlets. We never give them air. It's fine. Kennedy! Uh, Kennedy reveals it's Triple H. Triple H is going to fight Randy Orton in the main event. Oh, shit. And that match is next. After some more angles. <laughs> and after also this. Another match. <laughs> Chad Gaspar beats Tavari. With, with a thugnificent, whatever that is. Holy. This match does wow. pretty well, considering that they have bad chem. Yeah. Halloween party on SmackDown. Hell yeah. I'll see you there. It's just Kevin Ash like thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come Maybe watch I... SmackDown's new era. Uh, I think we sell Mania tickets first. There's also this. Oh, we have the big conversation. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how DMLS gets out of this. I don't think they have anything to get out of. They still have some hot young talent. They just beat the new breed. Like, there's nothing wrong. You're you're really catastrophizing this Tucker. They're in a good spot right now. It's just a bit I do chaotic. That. I do that quite a bit. I get it from my grandmother, unironically. Mm. Did she also hate the MLS? <laughs> yes. Damn. She's always worried about Charlie. Uh yep, many add two. Two and a half Please years. Come. These guys have come on so much. How will they perform in our main event of the evening? And can Randy get his step added to the match on Saturday? Nice. No, he cannot. Yeah, Mr. Kennedy distracts Randy Orton. Randy Orton gets hit with a pedigree. And Triple H has beaten the WWE Champion. We have confirmation that being a manager does not continue your storyline. Oh, true. Real shit. Yeah. 
You know, like comms does, though. Yep. Shout out Taz. <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> True. Shout out old Taz. Shout out Steve Stone. Fuck yeah. He Unless trans- Steve Stone did something despicable, and we don't he, know about no, no, that. He, he transcended the, the Seavers. He's one of the Stones from north of the border. And now he's in the real world. I don't think there's actually a Steven Stone. No, because he left the Seavers and he joined the real oh, world. Oh, I see. I see. He fled. Yeah. Mirror Universe John Gordon. <laughs> That's the one. The best fucking gimmick, man. Halloween Smackdown? Sounds good. My favorite part, honestly, of that whole thing was then playing the over 9,000 verse and finding um, just John Gordon in the over 9,000 verse. Uh, And he's like lost. Sorry, Sting just took on Zack Ryder as his protege. That's wild. Sting is building his cabre of (laughs) random dudes. Sting really is. Dude, Sting's preparing for excursion. (laughs) For Exodus. Uh, San Anto. He thinks he's cute. He he's got he's, he's got our it. he's got our road agents, and he's getting the young stars. <laughs> he's going to bail and form WCW two. That's already a thing. WCW three. That won't be a thing until a few more years. Well, until about ten more years. So I want about eleven more years. W. NWA six. <laughs> yep. All right. That could work. That could be a thing. They do the mash. The monster mash. The monster mash. Why am I not listening to music? Why am I sitting here in silence when I could not be? And we're gonna kick things off, ladies and gentlemen. With a very special SmackDown Halloween costume. And Kevin Nash could be out announcing this. SmackDown Halloween costume. Like how it's Royal. getting long. Still. <laughs> I feel like this could be a Kevin Nash idea. He can hit his line that you said, I'm dressed as, you know, famous 90s professional wrestler yeah. Kevin Nash. As you would expect, I'm famous 90s wrestler. I'm dressed as famous 90s wrestler Kevin Nash. It's such a good fucking line. I'm so proud of myself. Now let's see what uh, the rest of the roster has in this. Costume Battle Royal. Hell yeah. Uh, Costume Battle Royal next. (laughs) It's... It is so interesting we're doing this because I looked at... uh, I mean, I think I sent you a... I sent you a picture of the tag match that made invented SmackDown this week, right? That... uh, Yeah. Which then I was like, oh, that's where the... Tag match putty pitch went. Oh, sorry, that went away for a sec. Uh, I didn't realize that would do that. They did a lot of tag team matches over this period. With yeah, yeah, I I just assumed like it was. uh, I just assumed it was like a random one. I was like, oh no, this actually seems to be like a specific thing. And then I also checked out ECW for that week for some reason, and I saw the Monster Mash Battle Royal, and I was like, holy fucking kill me! I'm not Um, taking any inspiration for this from specific things. I just know. WWE oh, like to do Halloween battle royals, and I was like, "It's Halloween, and I like that idea, so I'm gonna do it." Um, yeah, the entire episode of ECW for that week has like no storyline progression, and it's entirely about Great Khali, Kane, Mark Henry, and the Undertaker, who aren't on the show, aren't nice. going to be involved on the show. They've come here for one night, and they're like, "Oh, they're all monsters. Who will win the monster battle royal?" Oh. And it's like just the four dudes. They can't do anything. They can't move. Like well, nobody can under- bump. The Undertaker can. True, true. But it's ECW. Taker's not. Yeah, that's fair. Taker's not working. <laughs> like, I'd like to do a women's battle royal here if we have ten women. I doubt it. Oh no. Okay, we're good. I, sorry, I just saw like the new style list or whatever, oh, and I had a one, heart attack. Two, three, four, five, six. Not seven, you. Eight, nine. I think that is ten. Bash Babe can totally wrestle. Rosa Mendez can be in it if we need her to. Yeah, I guess she could. She can have a special costume. We are one short. Ah, okay. Well, I guess we get Raw Women and Rosa doesn't compete. We don't have to get Raw Women if that would irk you. We can get Dev Women instead. Uh, I don't really care what we do. Let's get Dev Women. 
If there True. are enough dev women, not her, obviously. She's twenty years old. Come on, Tucker. How about how about these? Those women seem like they'll dress up and do a battle royal. Hell yeah. What about Kevin Kelly as well? Kevin Kylie? <laughs> no, Kelly Kelly. Oh, Kelly Kelly. <laughs> Kevin said, Kelly. I know I said Kevin. No, let's get Kevin, Kelly Kelly as well. Fuck it. That means we can we can ditch one of our other. <laughs> we can ditch one. Of our... <laughs> <laughs> no, Kevin Kelly. I almost Kelly. brought Kevin Kelly. <laughs> Also, Maurice is there. Fuck, this will be an opportunity to try out some of the next generation of women. Okay, hey, everybody, go. everybody, come here. Yeah, everybody, get in here. Get in here now. All Maybe right, we, we are. 50, we can do fifteen. I feel like at this rate, we are figuring this out. Okay, uh, I think that's all the women though. Outside I of, I think that is all the women except for her, oh, but she's twenty years Brooke. old. Yeah, Brooke can come up. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, she stays down there. And- yep. We'll see you in a number of years. At Just least keep, one keep year. 21, it. maybe. 20, no. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that. We'll see you in many years. At least one. <laughs> Look, it's an age thing for me, okay? <laughs> At this point. Yeah, no, no. Understandable. I mean, the IRL WWE doesn't care. They're I know, fucking... I know. They kind of care. They never put, like, teenagers on air, I feel like. They do. They do. NXT cool. definitely did. No, I, no, I, I mean, like... In this period, because once you get past this oh. period, it's more acceptable. Kelly Kelly, literally. <laughs> Good. She, uh, no, oh. no, no, like literally. She was on TV at like 18. Doing a stripper gimmick, too. It's pretty wild. She was in 2005, wasn't she? That's kind of crazy. Oh, six. Start of ECW. But, yeah. Maybe she's 19 then. I don't know. But either way, she's very young. It's very strange. Man, it's a literal threat to society and we should have seen it a long time ago Actually, anyways I mean, legally she's an adult but yeah no I, I do agree I'm checking because I'm, I'm curious what a lineup we've got here <laughs> god damn fucked up it's not that much the on TV thing it's more of the touring thing that gets me I think, I think that's kind of fucked up mm, yeah 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 being around that much yeah Around those people as well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I was just thinking the travel would be hard on a younger person, but... Oh yeah, what a lineup as I look back to the screen. Let's make sure we uh, we title this, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Costume. Uh, Smackdown! Smackdown! Women's Costume Battle Royale. What's Nat Hart's costume? Uh, Brett. That's cool. Yeah, I was thinking of that just straight up, Brett. What about Candace? A nurse. Is Katie Lee a pirate? Yeah. What about she- Shelly, a-, a vampire? <laughs> no. Okay, what is she then? In in a bout of uh, hilarious irony, she's a werewolf. Oh, that's based. She could pull it off. Uh. Seven? Yep. Eye candy? Yep. I feel like Candice winning makes the most storyline sense to how we're pushing people on this brand right now. Yep. (laughs) And I feel like that's probably enough. I agree. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, I could do other notes, but I don't care. (laughs) Cool. Also, get Ricky off this. Goddamn, this is a <laughs> Ricky, Michael Ricky, Hayes no, production no, no. I've ever seen one. Let me cook. Yeah, I got this one, boys. I got this. No, leave it to Michael Hayes, who okay, somehow right. has gotten the gotten the women's role because Finley doesn't do this shit anymore. <laughs> That's fair. We can protect her. We're probably going to have to keep her strong as well. Nat, it's Real. a battle royal. It's like, no, I don't care, man. I'm, I'm not being fucked over. Give her a dominate as well. Not. It's a battle royal. No, no, I don't care. Hearts don't lose. <laughs> Fine, she can win. <laughs> she can win. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Angry. There you go. Fucking hell, Nat. Fuck you, Nat Heart. 
We're gonna have to Hogan her at some point. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what, what, take her the uh, prove that we as the company are bigger than her and take her the fuck out. <laughs> we already moved her to SmackDown. <laughs> we need to do more. She needs to get properly Hogan. Send her to Hollywood. Let her flop. <laughs> I think she'd do all right. Um, all right. After That's an insane lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, I don't know. Actually, I feel like she's got some acting chops. If Natalia can't do one thing, it is acting. That's in the ring. If like, if we're asking her to be subtle, sure, but maybe she could be in like a children's movie. She's quite wholesome and likable. Fair, fair. After the match, then let's be- beat up Nana Hart in costume. Yeah! yeah, yeah! Everybody, kick her ass. <laughs> Specifically, the conventionally attractive ladies. No, just everybody. I don't even care. <laughs> All fourteen women turn on Nana Hart and kick her ass because she politicked. And shoot on her. <laughs> we should get them to Vanessa job her actually and force her out <laughs> as the first elimination. <laughs> that. Good point. We tell we tell everybody Candace is winning and we tell Nat that Nat's winning and see what happens. Yeah. We just organize <laughs> it and we look at we look at all the women, we're like, get him the fuck out, you do what needs to be done. <laughs> is a screw job even available in a battle royal? <laughs> I have no clue. It should be. I feel like a battle royal is the ideal place to do a screw job, actually. That's fair. <laughs> you just uh, throw them over. Two, and that's two, it. two minutes on this. Uh, let's sell Mania tickets. Yep. Hey, Dave. Dave's not going to... No, we are, we're not using Dave for this. Oh. I will let you use Chavo. There's a hint for the viewers. Shockingly, Chavo Guerrero will be on WrestleMania. <gasps> Who would have guessed? And Batista won't? Well, he might not. We don't know. He's unconfirmed. Yeah. Do you disagree? <laughs> no. No, I, I agree. Uh, let's get Deuce and Domino promo. No, no, we shouldn't do that because they're in the main and they're gonna be overused if that happens. Uh, let's Millennium. Have... Ooh, ooh, I do have a Millennium angle. In the ring, though. For now, let's have London and Kendrick cut a promo where they're like, we're back on, you know, we're not back on the same, but we're on the same page. Um, and we're ready to defend our belts against whoever The extracurriculars next. are done. Yeah. Whoever our next champion challengers are. Then let's have Idle Stevens in a costume. The Idle Stevens. Yep. In a costume of wrestling. Uh, oh, I see. And I threw you through a loop there. Dragon Nakamura. Nice. In the in a Halloween trick or treat match, which is going to be a no holds barred match with lots of Halloween themed weapons at ringside. I dig it. Where's Idol? Oh, he's the Idol. Hell yeah. That don't mess me up now going forward. So I want a no holds barred match. Yep. That was a monster's ball match. That's the TNA Abyss gimmick. Oh, God. Can you read that, FYI? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a real thing. They play that up really hard. They're like, oh, they're they're crazy now. They haven't seen the sun in a day. Are they it's eat, like, bro. Do they, do they eat each other? No. Okay. <laughs> the idea, I think, though, is that, yeah, maybe you would try or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it would make um, you more desperate. I, I don't know. Six minutes? Yep. Idle wins. And then afterwards, he cuts a promo on Doug Basham. He wants another shot at the belt. Big. Doug is too old to respond. 
Real. <laughs> Doug suffering from old. Four? Yeah. Kevin Nash goes and tries to find the hurricane because he thought he would be all over this night. But Hurricane is not not having it. And Nash is like, bro, I, I thought you'd be really into tonight. And then Hurricane's like, this is no mask to me. This is my life. That's... That's crazy. Do you, is, that, is that serious? That, I, I, don't some, I should... I should tell a doctor. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, no. I like that, definitely. Yeah, no, Hurricane is like, this isn't just a mask. This is me. This is who I am. Without this mask, I'm nobody. I'm just a guy. Kevin Nash is like, holy shit, dude. You're, wow. Uh, uh, huh. I need to hire therapists, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. It's okay. Greg, a chain. It's okay. It's okay. My name is Hurricane. Don't talk to me. What? He like <laughs> flips his cloak around and leaves. Fantastic. Uh, oh man, I really ho- thought I was gonna break through to him tonight. I was really hoping to build up that employer-employee worker relationship. <laughs> I go four on that. Hate the boys. It's not a major angle. <laughs> Tell you what is a major angle, though. This man, Chavo Guerrero, comes down to the ring. And for the last two weeks, he hasn't been able to hear anything else. Anybody he talks to asks him the same damn fucking question. Why, Chavo? Why? And Tucker, I'm going to hand it over to you. Why, Chavo? Why? My family is a very special thing to me, right? Like, I lost my uncle not even two years ago now. And I've done every single thing that I've done since then in order to elevate the name, the perception, the, the history of my family. Not just a great Lucha Libre family, a great professional wrestling family now, first and foremost. Rey Mysterio, you son of a bitch. I, I, I asked you. You know I've asked you. In private, on TV, in interviews, even on commentary. I'm the bet. No. Um, but yeah, I've, I've asked you numerous times. You are not related to me. You are not related. You were not related to Eddie. You're not related to any of us. You are a family friend. I. I have tried to turn a blind eye. I have tried to be okay with it. I have tried to accept it and move on because ultimately it should not be that big of a thing. But it is because you continue to run around and pretend that you are a Guerrero when you are not. You're a Mysterio. You've got your uncle, and that's it. I have so much more in this name, this Guerrero name. I It goes back so goddamn far. We invented moves. You fucking see every single goddamn match. But Rey Mysterio sells masks, so, you know, that's cool. I'm fed up. I'm fed up with you edging into my spotlight. Edging into my my family. You're not part of my family, Ray. You're not part of my family. And I'm sick and tired of people thinking that you are. Yeah, all I, stop all I did fucking weeks, telling people that you are. All I did two weeks ago is make it very, very clear. Yeah, to everybody, even people who don't really get it. We are not the same. I don't love you anymore, Ray. In fact... Oh, that's that's crazy. I hate you. Yeah. Nice. Nice.
Rey Mysterio is not a Guerrero. <laughs> I feel like eight. He has an entrance. He talks for a yeah, while. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do Chavo Guerrero over and off screen as we come back from commercial and the comms are like, man. I don't know what he's talking yeah. about, Michael, but that guy was Yeah, the literally, world what is Woo! that guy talking about? <laughs> what what is blood going on about? <laughs> what is blood waffling about? <laughs> Well, well, you see, Rick, this all started back in 1997. I don't care, Michael. I don't give a shit. I think a Ric Flair doesn't know the history of it. Michael Cole's trying to tell him. <laughs> Rick, you were there. You've worked Mondo Guerrero. I don't know who that is. <laughs> all I know is I beat him. Woo! <laughs> I did beat him, right, Michael? Probably. That's right. <laughs> Woo! Uh, let's wrestle. Who yep. else can we put in costumes, or should we get out? This is just the first hour. That's the Halloween special. <laughs> the Halloween hour. <laughs> let's have a tag team. Let's have a regular old tag team. Actually, no. This this is a good costume match because we can do the Miracle on Taunt in European themed costumes. Uh, taking on the returning Jesse and Festus in Jesse and Festus themed costumes. Jesse and Festus are just in costumes all the time. <laughs> all the time. Uh, it's the return of Festus. He's back. There's a little bit of pre-match hype about Festus being fully fit and recovered. Um, but but the question is, is is his previous affliction to ring bells still, still present after his injury? The answer is yes. Um, six? Yep. And Miracle Entente win. They, they beat Jesse. Close match, you know. For close run affair. Yep. And then Taz can call out Lundrick. You were looking for your next opponents while they're right in front of you. Rene Sebastian Dupree. Santino Milan Miracle Morella. Six on that, yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, let him shoot. Fine, Taz, fine. Graphic for our main event, Batista and Mysterio versus D&D. &D. Yep. Down to the ring comes Roderick Strong. He gets on the mic and he says, Frankie Kazarian, I want a word with you. Get your ass down here. Frankie comes down and Roderick says, Last week, Frankie, you did something I never thought you would. Last week, you betrayed me. You betrayed Tyson, who's also here. You betrayed Jack, oh, yep. who's also here. Oh, Hell, yep, okay, you I even betrayed so. the memory of Evan. Because what you did last week is you betrayed the spirit of Millennium. The spirit of what we have been doing since we got to Friday Night Smackdown, and that is to get ahead and be the best. Last week, Frankie, you stood in my way. You tried to take away what I had spent my whole career fighting for. And quite frankly, Frankie, I just, I just don't get it. I don't understand what could possess a man, my friend, my tag team partner, my ally, my backup, my second man, to betray me like that. I'm hurting, Frankie, and I've been racing in my mind day after day, night after night. Why? And I still just don't get it, Frankie. What was this about? Is it, are you jealous? Are you jealous of my success? The fact that I've gone on to be a two-time Cruiserweight champion, to beat everybody in this division, and you've sat there and done nothing? You've been my hype man? Is that it? Is that what this is about, Frankie? Is this about the Cruiserweight championship? You should just say something. You should just admit it. Is that all this has always been about? 
Is this being about the cruiserweight title? Do you want my cruiserweight championship? And then Frankie can say, you're goddamn right I do. But that's not what this is about, Roddy. But first and foremost, yes, I want the cruiserweight championship and I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be your ally. I wouldn't be in Millennium if I didn't, because like you said, it's about being the best. But that's not what I did last, why I did what I did last week. That's not what this is about, because I don't want, I didn't do that because I want your cruiserweight championship. I did that because I want my friend back. I want my life back. I want my team back. AJ, AJ, I want my title back. <laughs> All this shit has changed since you turned on Evan. Because it used to be us against the world. Now, lately, it seems to be you against the world. And fuck whoever gets in your way, whether they're friend or foe. And quite frankly, last week when I saw you reaching for a weapon because you couldn't get the job done, that's not the Roderick Strong I know. That's not the Roderick Strong I came into this business with. So you think so badly that this is about your title and your shit. Well, maybe you should look around and see that there are more people in this faction and there are more people in this story than just you. We came into this business together as a brotherhood. But you stand alone at the top. And I am sick and tired of the man that you've become. He looks and he realizes he's now surrounded by Roddy's cronies. He's like, you do what you want to me. I've seen it all before. But I want my friend back. There's a pause and Roderick gets back on the mic and he says, You want this cruiserweight championship so badly? I'm going to give you a shot. Next Saturday, Green Bay, Wisconsin, SNME homecoming. You, me, cruiserweight championship. You win, you get everything you've ever dreamed of. If you lose, you're out of Millennium. He drops the mic and he leaves. And you can see Frankie's like, you didn't hear it. He's not saying anything, but he's thinking, you didn't hear a word I said, did you? Fantastic. Six minutes. Angle with Millennium. With millennium. True, actually. <laughs> <laughs> millennium drama. Sounds like yep. eight. Uh... Mm, they have shorter entrances. Mm, fine. I, I think you can go six. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'll take that as a compliment on the promo, though. So thank you. <laughs> uh, I think we do a uh, bridge angle first, but then we can go main event. So maybe Raw Rebound? Yep, sure. We'll do uh, Ribble H. Ribble H. He's a world champion. What the hell does that mean? Genuinely, what does it mean? Somebody please tell me. It means that Mr. Kennedy's going to get to pick a stipulation on Monday night. It means Triple H has been added to the match. Triple threat. Triple threat. That would be kind of amazing. Triple H just wins the belt, unifies them. Goes on a WrestleMania. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> maybe we should add, actually, maybe we should add The Rock. Oh, shit. Maybe we should just take Kennedy out and just do the just rock. Just do the rock. Yeah, actually, you know what? Save the, Ironically, that would be. We better. should we should save SNME Homecoming and run <laughs> the Rock versus John Randy Cena. Orton. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I love that so much, man. I love that so much because it was already like sold out. FYI. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Wait a minute. So fucking funny. Uh. <laughs> yep. Big Dave. Smaller Ray of brands are off. That's what's going on. I was like, there's a bunch of people here for some reason. Help. Ba -ba -da -ba -up. Ba -up. Ba -up. Eight. Yep. <coughs> uh, start of the match is Deuce and Domino working over Ray. Obviously. Yeah, he goes gets the hot tag. And pretty much immediately after the hot tag, Chavo with a fucking steel chair just fucking slams Ray. <laughs> just oh. absolutely slams Ray. He takes it, he, he slams him a couple of times, he drags him down the ramp and keeps slamming him over and over again. Uh he's absolutely destroying Ray Mysterio. Uh it's he's not the legal man, so I'm pretty sure the ref doesn't DQ him. Um they definitely would. 
I, he's not the legal man. I think he's fine. Maybe the ref doesn't see it, even though it's very blatant. I don't know. But I don't want it to be a DQ. It's another man. ref bump. <laughs> no, it's not a ref bump. Um, I, I actually, I don't think that's the fight. Go after this. We're going to go with the ref doesn't DQ him because he's not the legal man. And if you care so much, Tucker, you can go find me a clip of it happening afterwards. Um, and then, and then, yeah, he's, he's just going to... No, afterwards, afterwards. You're not doing it now. Refuse. No. Uh, no, I. Uh, this I'm is important. Change, I'm to not the... changing the finish. Uh, anyway, if you do it now, I'm not changing the finish. Fine. I'm look at anything you send me. We're doing okay. a stream now, no. and you're gonna look up. No, I'm not gonna keep going while you go. We're fucking go searching shit. Be here, bro. Come on. Or fine, yeah. pitch something. I'll pitch the whole match, and then you can change it if you want. My idea is that that keeps happening, and then Batista turns around, and then actually just wins the match because he's Batista. Oh, I see, like, Chavo takes out Ray, and then Batista just does it. Batista's looking, he's like, oh shit, and it, it looks like a distraction finish. But, and maybe he even he, Batista gets rolled up, and then kicks out, and then just wins the match. I like that. Yeah, it's good. But if you don't like the... Ray doesn't get DQ'd, you need to pitch an alternative. I think it's fine. We can, we can distract the ref, it's fine. Okay, fine, but I'm saying right now that the ref isn't distracted, and we, we'll retcon it if you find something after the stream. Okay, okay, I got you. All right. I don't think Undertaker should be the agent on that match. But maybe, he, but I mean, it's not the awful idea if he is, to be fair. Okay. Um, continue with the warrior on that. Uh, and then, yeah, Batista's just going to be looking like, what? What the, what the hell? The Chavo? Uh, out into the distance when a gong hits and the lights go down. Oh, shit. And then the lights come back up and the Undertaker's in the ring and Batista's like, whoa, it's the Undertaker. And then the Undertaker looks at Dave. He's got the world title in his hands and he hands him the title and he looks at it and he nods. And Dave looks at the Undertaker, and he nods, and then he goes to leave the ring. And then the Undertaker grabs his shoulder, turns him around, hits him, like grabs him by the throat, and slams him into the mat with a choke slam. Picks up the world title and poses with it. To get SmackDown goes off the air. Oh yeah, I think fighting on Taker, overness on Batista. I think six minutes. Chavo and Ray are very much just there. They're not actually there. You can do off-screen on them if you really want them in the angle. Yeah, all right, sure. That's fine. Chavo had killed Ray and left. Ray is dead. <laughs> he's back. Watch yours. And he's just nailed Batista. <laughs> not like that. Oh, See, boy. Hit him. It's fuck the other guy night. <laughs> I love fucking guy night. Uh, all right, yeah. You ready to roll this? I think so, yeah. We're set to be in the right spot. Yep, San Anto. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Smackdown Nitro. It's the costume battle royal. Here we go. Get out Crap there, women. Heckler chance. What are you dressed as, Kev? I am 90s extremely popular professional wrestler. <laughs> Kevin Dash. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nat Hart politics her way into a victory, <laughs> and it's terrible. We hate her. Fuck you, Ooh. Nat Hart. Stop holding down these other women. <laughs> look, look at all these other women. All these other women. She's holding every single one down. They could be stars if it wasn't for Nat Hart specifically. Yep. And then they all they beat her down. And we're like, yeah, yeah, fuck you, Nat. Fuck you. Okay. Done with this. <laughs> but he doesn't like me fucking making the making the work of, the shoot of work. I mean, it's that heart is clearly better than all of these other women. Yes, I'm aware. Yeah, all right, cool. That was That's the not, joke. Well, you didn't say that. You said making the shoot of work, implying that the shoot was that she's a bitch. <laughs> well, she is politicking. 
but that's not a bad thing. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. Ledrick's back on focus. Had a uh, larger crowd this week than Raw, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. That it did. That it did. Let's ignore the fact that it's in San Antonio versus where the bum fuck we were for Raw. Omaha or whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. It wasn't Omaha. It was no. like, where was it? Kansas City? We literally were just there. Yeah, Kansas City. That's it. Yeah. We were in Omaha for SmackDown the other week. Yeah, uh, yeah it's the Idolizer on Dragon Nakamura in the Trick or Treat match. <laughs> the Trick or Treat match, yeah. He wants another shot at Doug Basham. We can book it in for SME because he's going to. Oh, hell it. yeah. Doug's eternal opponent, the idol, Stevens. Hell yeah, man. The only man that can match his energy. This is like our, this is like, <laughs> if we were like a territory or something like that, this would be our hot feud, bro. <laughs> the idol, Stevens versus All-American Doug Basham. Fuck yeah. The All-American World title. American, Any arena. American champion. Nash talks to Hurricane Helms. I have this no clue why these Nash segments don't do well. He's Doesn't over. A, a trash He's good gimmick. at talking. Yeah, I guess so. But so does the Hurricane. So and this match also, this segment also did badly, and Greg's been bombing for months. He has. Chavo promo. Oh, I thought this would do better. Your promo was better than this promo. Damn, got him. Yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, what the fuck's that guy talking about? That's, he's crazy. What the fuck happened to him? Well, you see, here's the story, Rick. Oh, oh Michael. No, I don't care about your story. <laughs> Ray has been a family friend of Chavo's for decades. This is ridiculous. They are he family. Basically Woo! is a Guerrero. Remember, Cole, Guerrero means warrior. I mean, Ray's a warrior. I was trying to come up with something about mystery, but then I was like, ah, there's nothing to say even. Never mind. Nice. Uh, yep, yeah, Miracle on Top beats Jesse Festus when uh, Renee puts the War Valley Clutch on Jesse. My god. Miracle on Top, Watt and Sheet. Yep. Made fake graphic. <clears throat> the Millennium Drama. We can book this in for us, enemy. Yep. Perfect. Main event? I think we do a bridge angle first. You're right. It's a raw rebound. Triple H is going to hold all the titles at once. Do's and domino. Real. By the way, that's not the, uh, that's not the story we're pitching at all. <laughs> just be very yeah, explicit about I know. that. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just being fucking funny. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just make sure, you know, we're not, we don't meme ourselves into a shoot as we occasionally do. She should rape me, Deuce and Domino. Ow. Fuck. My back hurts. My backery. My backery. Ah, uh, yep. Batista and Ray win. Good little affair. Chavo comes in and attacks Ray. And then The Undertaker comes down. Stares down Dave Batista. Then drops him. What does this mean? Holds up his belt. My god. We're right back where we were in April. And we can book the into two. next week, even though we won't announce this until, like, tomorrow, that next week's main event on SmackDown is going to be The Undertaker teaming up with Chavo Guerrero to take on Batista and Rey Mysterio. I hope The Undertaker turns on Chavo and kills him. <laughs> he probably won't. Unforch. Unforch. Maybe, maybe Batista turns on Rey, though. Ray's friends have a habit of doing that. That'd be terrible. <clears throat> they respect him. 
There is SmackDown. And that might well be Deuce and Domino's last ever main event. Wow. What a run. <laughs> what a run of somehow getting back to the main event. You know, the Doug Bash from run was pretty good, but the the Deuce and Domino run, really. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Even I'm That's... sick of them, and I like them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel that. Uh, cool. We did they it. We are all about cool. We are through to November, November. I guess. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. True. Goddamn. Right. Anything else you want to say? Um, no, I think we're good. All right. Cool. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And we will see you guys next time for the Go Homes for SNME 13 Homecoming.